A popular downtown club now shut down for good after a streak of violent crime, including a shooting where a security guard was killed. The crime not only affecting people at Encore Hookah Lounge, but nearby tourist hotspots like the aquarium, which has been struck by stray bullets. Our Joe Ripley explains why it took months to finally close the club. The Encore Lounge had the prime location located on Lucky Street in downtown Atlanta near several popular tourist attractions, but it became a prime location for violence with more than 170 calls to Atlanta police in the last two years alone. 11 Alive learned the property owners tried to get Encore shut down as far back as September. Habib Property said when Encore refused to vacate in December, it got the courts involved. After the city of Atlanta requested a hearing last week, according to the property owners, Encore agreed to cease operations and vacate. The club has played host to repeated violent crimes, fights, shootings, some turning deadly. Businesses should have to be held accountable for self-policing. Um, if an incident happened, you know, you may not expect it the first time, but once it becomes repetitive, then you have to look at your security plans and your business model and look at the, uh, you know, the type of crowd you're attracting. Encore lies in Atlanta City Councilman Jason Dozier's district. He says the city is taking a strategic approach to focus on Atlanta's nightlife by educating business owners, making sure liquor licenses are current, and going after what he calls nuisance businesses. We encourage people all the time, come to your neighborhood meetings, talk to the MPUs, and, and be like, you don't have to be afraid of of these folks like come at come to the table as an equal partner and, and work together to find a solution that's going to move all of us together. Dozier says other popular clubs could face the same fate as Encore if they don't take serious steps to curb crime. In Atlanta, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News. And